Hey everyone, Trina here. Today we're going to be making some pieces in the sketchbook and we're going to start off with some mark making. So let's just get started here. Just make some marks here. We're also going to go in and I'm going to show you a quick little video of making some jelly prints for this piece and we'll play with those. A little time lapse. But yeah, we're just going to get started here. Next, I'm gonna go in with some water so we can lay down some ink. So for the wet paper, we're gonna go in with just a little bit of this ink here. And this is the uh, paint spray that I mixed up myself. start this way because it makes everything very loose and fun. We're going to do a lot of collage today, I think. Let's go in with the color shaper. Kind of move this around a little bit. We're going to let that dry. And then I want to, um, I'll show you a little quick video of me making the jelly prints in time lapse, and then we'll come back and do some collage. I'm using the Nico Azo Gold on my jelly plate, along with some acrylic ink, and we're printing these on tissue paper. So here's some of the papers I made with the acrylic ink on the jelly plate. And you can see that they've left these really cool little marks. They almost kind of look like planetary. Um, they're very textured and I really like that. Um, this one's probably my favorite because it really emphasizes, um, I think I sprinkled a little water on this one so it was kind of made that ink just sort of um, come up a little bit so it's not completely flat. This one I thought was really cool with the orange, the uh, as a gold and some sepia. Um, and this one was pretty. I just, this was one of the first ones I did. My plate was really dry. I had a lot of other ink on there so it didn't ball up as much. And then I thought this one was really cool too. Like I really like this part of it here. Okay, let's try that again. I've got some a little bit of it here. And these are the water soluble Mangayo. I really want to use the, oh, there we go. So it doesn't need to be a lot of color. That worked a little better. Um, let's see, what happens if we do? I kind of want to go in through here with like this. It's gonna make a mess, I like it. I'm feeling very messy all of a sudden. Okay, so I found some paint that was just sort of left on my palette. I'm just gonna go in with, I like this little skinny little part here. That did not work. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do some more these lines. I don't want too much of that, but I kind of like the way that looks. It's okay to me if it's a little messy. I actually kind of am liking just sort of light marks maybe rather than exploring the whole stencil. So let's let that dry and then we'll think about some collage. So I really want the collage pieces to stand out. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to apply a layer of really light gesso over this and spots to give it kind of some white space to glom onto. But we're still gonna be able to see, hopefully, the layers underneath, some of them. I don't want too much of this, but I just kind of want it to be a little bit. So when I put down the collage, you're gonna be able to see the actual collage. It was a little dark, so I wanted to lighten it up. Okay, I've got some matte medium here, and I'm just going to, we're just going to put this piece of collage down over the top. I 
don't usually work on a brush this small, but I, I couldn't find another brush. Because my studio's a mess. But that's okay. This one will do just fine. Because I never use these little baby brushes for anything. Oh, I like that. Um, let's just go in with a color shaper to make it really flat. Let's see what other things we can add. So I got this little tiny little piece here. It's kind of cool. And we're just going to lay that down. I think right here. I kind of want it to overlap a little bit. The good thing about using tissue paper is that it literally just blends, it just melts right into the page. So it doesn't look so stuck on. And I'm probably not gonna add, ooh, I like what I did here. I like that, I like that part of there. I'm probably not gonna add in a whole lot of collage pieces, but let's just see what we get. Okay, so I like this piece right here to kind of give us a cool negative space right through there. When you get these little pieces, it's really hard to put down sometimes. Might need something right there. Okay, so I'm going to add in this little piece right here. So I like how, oh, I like how that overlaps there. The overlaps are good. Like I said, when you can see through the paper, it makes a whole lot of difference. And I like, you know, getting these really flat with a color shaper. You can kind of see through that a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to put this little piece right over here. So I really liked how that texture was coming on there. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit. This is a piece of cardboard. I think this is another one of those copy sleeves. I'm just gonna add some paint on here and we're gonna print it on top of there. You see I'm getting the paint out of my Liquitex um, cap. This is one thing that I hate about Liquitex. I love their paint. But those, oh God, those little caps get clogged so easily and they're the biggest pain. Okay, end of rant. Okay, let's put this down. I kind of want it to be like, right through there. You see my little mistake there? Oh, that's not bad. Let's put it up here too. I'm gonna cover up our little mistake. Oops, oopsie. Oh, can't even tell. Okay. So to finish up, I think I'll go in with a little bit of the Karen Dash Neo Color. Are these twos? Yes, Neo Color twos in the warm set. There'll be a link in the description on where you can buy these. It's my favorite set. Um, this one is the, what is this one? Sahara Yellow. I like this color because you can just add like little bits of highlight to pieces. You can see how it just kind of pops it out. Um, the other one that I like is this English Red. Actually, I like all these colors and they all have their purpose. You've seen me, if you've been on my channel before, I've been known to throw some pink on things and just like get crazy. Um, it needs some dark. So this is the, uh, what is this color? Umber. I like this color for adding warm darks. want 
too much of this. That didn't really. Okay. What's over here? And then I need some more of this color. I really I like how that kind of made everything just sort of pop through here. I don't want it to get too complicated. Um, anything else I want to add? I think that well, maybe maybe a bit of this apricot as well. It's also a nice highlight color. Kind of bring your eye around the piece a little bit. I kind of like how we've got this thing going on down here. I might want some, like a solid bit of this color. I like adding solid bits so you can work your way around the piece. It's real subtle, it doesn't have to be, oh, I like that, I like how. I like that color with that blue. Let's just make it a little nicer line through there. And you can see how just adding one pop of one color, you go through here to here and back to here and here, kind of just lead your eye around a little bit. Okay, I think I'm good. So let's take a look at what we did. You can see that through here, oh, I need to glue that down a little bit, but the collage pieces just sort of seamlessly blend in. Um, I really like what's going on down here. I'm glad I added the gesso in over top. I think that really helped with the collage. Um, of course, I love the ink work. I love these, the marks I made with the apricot that kind of lead you around the piece. I love the highlight yellows. Overall, I'm very happy with this collage piece. Um, yeah, we'll see what it looks like with the mat. So here it is with the mat. I can move it up a little bit or down. Um, I really like how this piece turned out. I think it's really pretty. Um, I think it's got dynam dynamicism and energy in it. And it's really nice. Um, don't, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. If there's anything you want me to make a video about, just let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, please leave uh, comments and below and I will see you in the next one. Check out the video to your left if you want to see more work. Have a good day. Bye.